So, yeah. This is obviously not all languages, but... Well, as you see, you see the origins of many families, the Indo-European family as a language, Proto-Afro-Asiatic, then Old Germanic. I can't really find uh, the language origin of Chinese, so I'm just going to do Old Chinese. I was wanted to do so much better, but like, sometimes I uh, it's confusing the, the in between like language families and languages themselves. So, no. Anyways, first, this is all for number one. All these words are for number one in different languages. One in English obviously comes from Inaz in Proto Germanic. Well, there's some stuff in between there, but, and there's Achgat and Al-Ulmsan, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, in Phoenician Arabic, and then Yi and Bi in non-Chinese and Yaka. So, this, this English in German, all comes from Proto Indo European, which is pretty well known. And then Phoenician Arabic from Proto Afro Asiatic, and Old Chi and Modern Chinese from Old Chinese. And you see, I've drawn these arrows here, and they all go to one meaning, one thing. And the thing is my own guess of what they, the, all these words came from. So as you can see the resemblance in these words. I have, you have just like one I in it, which is identical, almost identical to this part in the proto afro asiatic word in, or ins. And technically in this part, well with the S here, there's two O's, very close resemblances. They all have that E part, and that in part. Well, except for uh, Chinese. Without further ado, this is my guess. Yes, it is identical to the proto afro asiatic word, but it has the shortest amount of steps. So, for Old Chinese, you just omit two letters. And for Indo-European, you just add two O's. Like here, and here. And for Proto-Afro-Asiatic, you don't even do anything. So, this video is not really based on fact at all. This is just based on, it was just a fun video that I thought, a fun video idea that I thought of that has nothing really to do with real fact, but I just like to think of it as a cool idea and something that might be proven later in or not science in this history I'm getting that note in the origin of my language but you know not very likely that will happen but this might get this might be close to the answer which I hope it is anyways this is just my thought and, and I also include my own um, language as uh, wish and yeah a -O which is the word for one, which comes from English. Anyways, I'm naming it Piast. Like Piast. Piast. It's after Proto-Indo-Euro-Afro-Asi-Sino-Tibetan, which is basically all the languages. Proto-Indo-European, Proto-Afro-Asiatic, and Sino-Tibetan, which is the language family of Chinese. So, this is the thing I'd make. Anyways, See you next video.